Hello, so welcome back um, to another one of my in-car tutorials for um, something quick and easy. I'm going to attempt to make um, a hairband on a site that I saw called Busting Stitches. So if you give me a second, I'm going to try and upload a video on how to make a really quick uh, hairband. All right. Alright, so I'm going to be using Value Yarn, and this again found at Michael's, and I will be using the crochet hook size I by Boy. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. 5.5, made by Boy. And the color that I'm going to use is actually a yellow. It's just a ball of yarn that I had hanging around in the car. And... To get started, I will find the end of yarn that is available. Give me a minute. Couldn't find any yarn, so I just broke off a piece where it would work out pretty good. So you're going to make a slip stitch. Well, not a slip stitch, a slip knot. You are going to put the hook into that slip knot. Kind of pull so that you have it tightened. Rolling up the windows because the outside noise is a little loud today. And then you are going to make enough chains to go around the circumference of your head. That's kind of hard to tell on different people. I have a big head and with the braids it kind of makes it a little bit harder to figure out how many chains to make being that um, my head is larger because of the braids <laughs> so you're going to make a uh, single chains and I will see you in a minute once I do the get ready to do measurements all right all right so I've counted and I have about 57 stitches chain stitches here and I'm going to take that last stitch that I had and I'm going to slip stitch into that first loop and I'm going to tie off now this is what you'll have so you want to make about I'm going to make about 10 of these just to get a um, enough so that I can go ahead and try to make this headband. So make about 10 of these basic chain circles and then I'll see you on the other end. Okay, so if you've made 10, you are great because you will have two headbands. So I'm going to use the five headbands. One, two, three, four four five and I'm lining them up with the strings that were of excess off to the side so you're gonna have them all set up here five single crocheted oh well not not crocheted five of the 57 chain circles that we've made the ten that you made you're gonna be able to make two headbands with it so I'm going to take the yarn that's excess and I'm going to wrap them around like so and I'm going to tie a knot in there This is just a marker, I guess, because it's tying everything in place and I don't really have to worry about it. You could actually probably keep this like that. I did not get to look at the full video. I mean, the um, busting stitches. I printed out the pattern, but I didn't get a chance to bring it to work today. So I'm actually just, again, ad living. So. What I'm going to do is, 
I'm going to make something to put around there to make it look a little nicer than of course like that it's actually not bad but it looks a little sloppy if you were to connect this here and make this look a little nicer it would actually work so just give me a second to get a pattern together to figure out what to use to cover that up one second so I have my yarn here and I'm gonna make a slip stitch slip knot I am going to chain one two three four five six seven eight nine and just kind of get an idea of whether or not that's going to be long enough and it is for the um, covering and then I'm going to go into this next stitch there and I'm going to yarn over and bring through both and that's a single crochet so I'm going to single crochet into every stitch around so you're going to go in bring through and yarn over and bring through both that's a single crochet. Go inside the next stitch, bring the yarn out, yarn over, and bring through both. Into the next stitch, yarn over, bring through both. Into the next stitch, yarn over, bring through both. Into the next stitch, yarn over, bring through both. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, bring through both. Now you're going to chain one, turn your work around, and single crochet into the next one. You're going to single crochet all the way around till you get to the end of that row. We've gotten to the end of the row, and you're going to chain one, turn your work around, and do the same thing. Go to the next row and you're going to single crochet into each of the stitches around for that row also. You get to the end of that row, do the same thing, one chain, turn your work around, single crochet into that row all the way till you get to the end. We've made it to the end of that row chain one and we're going to make one more row of single crochet. Once you've gotten to the end of this last row you're going to cut off that yarn and you're going to close tie this off. So you have this little square here or rectangle. You're going to take your head crochet headband and you're going to go around the pieces that look tacky making sure that you tuck everything and if you have a needle you can always sew it together but I'm going to take the tail of this and I'm going to use my crochet needle because I don't have any um, sewing needles here with me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the back here pull that extra string through and I'm going to do that all the way around to close this up here see you at the end now here is what we have this little cute headband and I'm going to put mine on and see how it looks. I have my hair knotted up, sorry. Hopefully this fits around my big head. Hold on a second. Now I don't 
particularly care for this knot here. Maybe if it was a uh, bow of some sort that I made to put there, it may be a little bit more fashionable. And again, these braids are making my hand a little bit larger or appear a little bit larger to me. So what I'm going to do is move that knot to the back and try to give it a different look. So I'm going to kind of like spread out the pieces. Should look nicer with your hair, with your natural hair. Actually, not that bad. Sorry, guys. So, there you go. A basic under 30 minute headband. A last minute gift idea. put my hair back in a knot and this actually matches my shirt so I might keep it on for the rest of the day there you go subscribe